fraction equivalents and comparisons. All right, don't forget all your lessons are found at mrmathlog.com. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So here we'll start with some vocabulary here. We're going to choose the best term from the box over here. So we have benchmark, common denominator, numerator, and simplest form. That's what's going to fill in here. So a blank is known is a known size or amount that helps you understand another size or amount. Okay, that would be benchmark, you guys. Your benchmark is your known size uh, or amount that helps us understand the other size. Okay, all right, and then a fraction is in blank uh, when the numerator and denominator uh, have only one as a common uh, uh, factor. So that would be, it would be in simplest form when only one is a common factor right there, okay? And then a blank is a common multiple of two or more denominators. That would be a common denominator would be a common multiple of two or more uh, de uh, uh, denominators. Okay, and that we're going to be doing all of that in this lesson here. So write uh, uh, two equivalent fractions. Okay, so four six. All right, uh, back in I think lesson 6.1 or 6.2, uh, we did um, um, equivalent fractions here, and I'm going to show you a picture here. So here's a picture of 4 6, you guys. So see how, I, and I, I have them highlighted with, um, with black right here. There's four of the six um, pieces that are, that are in black right here. So 4 6 is the same as this uh, fraction right here, which is 2 thirds. Okay, there's one, two, and then three pieces, and there's only two of them being shaded. Okay, and then over here, it's the same size over here, except out of these nine, there's six of them that are being shaded. Okay, so four over six is the same as two over th uh, three, which is the same as six over nine. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, is suggest to think about four divided by two, and then six divided by two. If we divide by a common multiple or a common factor, that's how we can reduce it. So you can hear my fireplace uh, crackling in the background. It's a cold uh, December night. So anyway, uh, so four divided by two is two. Six divided by two is three. Okay, and then you can take this fraction and multiply it by anything you want. And if you multiply this number times three, I get six, and then multiply three times three, and you get nine. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do over here. What number goes into both um, uh, 9 and 5? Can you see that 3, if I take a, a 9 divided by 3 is 3, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So if we divide the top and the bottom by 3, okay, we get uh, 3 fifths, okay, and then we can take this fraction and multiply it by anything you want. Okay, I think I chose 2, so 3 times 2 is 6, 5 times 2 is 10, so 3 fifths also equals 6 over 10. Okay, what about this one, you guys? What number goes into 3 and, and 12? 3 does. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that reduces to 1 fourth. And then we can take this 1 fourth and then multiply this by uh, 2. Multiply this by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, all right. Uh, so uh, write each pair of fractions as pairs of fractions with common denominators. Okay, so let's look at the denominators here between 4 and 8. Okay, multiples of 4 are 4 um, and multiples of 8 are, are 8. I'm sorry, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is, is, uh, is 8, and then this one already has 8. So what we did was we multiplied this fraction times 2 over 2. 3 times 2 equals 6. And then 4 times 2 equals that 8 right there, okay? So, and then this one already has the 8 on it, so we didn't have to change that one right here, okay? Look at this one, 10 and 5. We're looking at denominators. Now, don't think factors, you guys. Think of um, multiples of uh, what numbers do these both go into? They both go into 10, okay? 5 goes into both of these, but these guys both go into 10. This is 10 times 1. This is... Uh, uh, 5 times 2 will get me 10. So I'm going to multiply this one by 2 over 2. That way it'll be 10. I can get 10 right here. Okay? So uh, if I multiply this by 2, I get 6. This by 2 is, is 10. Okay? So um, you don't have to change this one because it already has the 10 in the, in the denominator right here. It's 9 tenths. And then we just multiply this one by 2 over 2. All right, let's try some other ones here, you guys. So let's compare, you guys. Compare, write less than, greater than, or equals to. Okay, all right, so here we have 8 and 12. All right, this one's a little harder to see. So what I do is I take this bigger number first, the bigger denominator, and I start listing multiples of the bigger denominator. So multiples of 12, or, and I can keep going, but 12 times 1 equals 12. 
12 times 2 equals 24. 12 times 3 equals 36. These are multiples of 12. Let's do multiples of 8. Okay, multiples of 8 are 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. Now look, this has a 24 in it, and this guy has a 24 in it. So that would be a common denominator right there. 24 is our common denominator. So what we can do is... Um, is we can multiply um, uh, this one, since 8 times 3 equals 24, we can multiply this fraction by 3 over 3, and since 12 times 2 equals 24, we can multiply this one by 2 over 2, and that'll get us common denominators, okay? So, uh, 6 over 8 uh, times 3 over 3, 6 times 3 is 18, 8 times 3 is 24. This one times 2 over 2, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24. Now they have common denominators, we can just look at the numerators, okay? Which numerator is bigger? This one's bigger than this one. 18 over 24 is bigger than 12 over 24, so that means uh, 6 over 8 is going to be bigger than 6 over 12, okay? So it goes that way, okay? Let's try that again. Okay, multiples of 4 and then multiples of 12. Well, we already know uh, 12, uh, multiple of 12, uh, 4 goes into 12 three times. So if we multiply this fraction by 3 over 3, whoops, I didn't, I didn't finish my little fraction bar there, I see. So if we multiply this fraction right here by 3 over 3, okay, and then so 3 times 3 is 9, and then 4 times 3 is 12. So which one is bigger? Is 9 twelfths bigger, which is this one? or is 10 twelfths bigger and hopefully you guys see that 10 twelfths is bigger right there okay all right uh, so write the fractions in order from least to greatest all right so we got to think of what's a common multiple between 6 3 and 4 if it was just 6 and 3 it would be 6 but 4 doesn't go into 6 evenly so so let's think of the next multiple of 6 which is 12 okay 6 times 2 is 12 that goes into 12 four times. That goes into 12 three times. So your common denominator is going to be uh, 12 out of all three of those. So let's change all of those to 12. So if we multiply 5 over 6 times 2 over 2, that'll get us 12 in the denominator. So 5 times 2 would be 10. Okay, here, 3 times 4 is 12. So there we go. And then 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12, 3 times 3 is 9, okay? So that'll tell us now we have common denominators of 12, and then here we have 10 over 12, here we have 8 over 12, here we have 9 over 12. So the smallest one is 8 over 12, so that's going to be the 2 thirds. The next smallest one is uh, 9 over 12, so that's going to give us the 3 fourths, and then 10 over 12 is the biggest one, so 5 over 6, okay? So there they are in, in uh, order from least to greatest. We just had to get common denominator. All right, let's try some of these, you guys. So uh, Alex plays both basketball and football. This month he, um, he said he worked one half the month on football and one fourth of the month on basketball. Okay, which number is a common denominator for one half and one fourth? Okay, well, you guys, uh, um, okay, if we started listing, and we're just looking at the denominators, two and four, if it was just, if the four is a common denominator, but four is not one of the choices, so it's got to be another one, you guys. So, so multiples of, of two are two times one, two times two is four, times two is six, times four, so, I'm sorry, uh, two times one, two times two, two times three, so here's all multiples of 2. Multiples of 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, look, they got a common multiple of 12 right there. So that would be our common denominator right there is 12. All right, let's try another. Amy said she spent 6 over 20, or 6 24ths of her money last summer at camp. In simplest form, what fraction of her money did she spend at camp? Okay. Well, 6 and 24 are both divisible by 6. So if we divided 6 divided by 6, it equals 1. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. So this would reduce to 1 fourth right there, okay? So choice B, okay? Uh, Heidi is planting boxes of flowers. Each box has four flowers. And one fourth of the flowers in each box are tulips. What fraction of the flowers in the three boxes is tulips? Okay, in three boxes, okay. So each box has four flowers, and one-fourth of the flowers in each box are tulips. Well, if, if there's four flowers in it, and one of them's tulips, one-fourth of them are tulips, that means there's one tulip in each box. Okay? And if each box 
uh, any t of the three boxes. There's one tulip. So if you have three boxes, that's going to make three tulips total. Okay, and uh, three boxes with four flowers in three in each box, four times three flowers is going to get us twelve total flowers. Okay, so what fraction of the flowers are in the three boxes? Well, we have three tulips, we have twelve total flowers, so that would be three twelfths right there. So this would be uh, there's three out of the twelve flowers are going to be tulips out of if she has it in all those boxes right there. All right, let's try another one. Mrs. Bullock uh, made a list of fractions on the board for her students and asked them, which fraction is in simplest form? Which one is correct? Okay, here is one-eighth, three-ninths. Well, three goes into both of these, so that one's not in, sim in simplest form. Eight-sixteenths, lots of numbers go into these. Two does, four does, six, uh, eight does, so that one's not simplified. And then six over 18 those are uh, uh, two does and three does on that one so anything with a one on top is always in simplest form you guys so this is a called a unit fraction if one's on top it is called a unit fraction so that one's in simplest form right there okay all right julie ate two-thirds of a pie while john ate one half of a pie which statement is true okay so i see all these fractions right here and we got greater thans and less thans and equal sides. So we got to get a common denominator between this 3 and this 2 right here, okay? So 3 times 2 is 6. So a common denominator is 6. So if I take uh, this 2 thirds, whoops, I forgot my fraction bars again here. I can see them in my mind, but I just don't have them right there. So there's a fraction bar right there and a fraction bar right there. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 2 is, is 6. So this one is 4 6. 1 times uh, 3 is, is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, so this one is 3 6. So which one's bigger? 4 6 is bigger than 3 6, which means 2 thirds is bigger than 1 half. So which one says that? This one does. 2 thirds is greater than 1 half right there, okay? So choice B. All right. Charlotte is making brownies. She combines 1 eighth of a cup of milk, 1 sixth of a cup of chocolate, and 1 third of a cup of, of butter. Which shows the order of the ingredients from the least amount to the greatest amount? Okay, again, we're going to have to get common denominators between 3, 6, and 8. Okay, so a common denominator between 3, 6, and 8 is, is 24, you guys. So what we're going to do is multiply the 1 8 times 3 over 3. That way, 8 times 3 equals 24. 1 times 3 equals 3. There goes my fire popping. 6 times 4 equals 24, 1 times 4 equals 4, and then 3 times 8 equals 24, so 1 times 8 is 8. Okay, so the smallest one is 3 over 24, so that came from the 1 8th. The next smallest one is 4 over 24, so that came from the 1 6th. Then the next smallest one is uh, 8 over 24, that's the biggest one, sorry, so that came from 1 3rd. So, um, uh, which list shows the order of ingredients from least to greatest? Looks like uh, choice D on this one right there. Okay, all right. What else do we have? Okay, Timothy has one half of his homework, uh, uh, has completed one half of his uh, math homework. Eileen has completed seven twelfths of the same assignment. Which statement correct, correctly compares the fractions? Okay, again, we're gonna have to get common denominators. So between 12 and two, it's gonna be 24, you guys. So I'm sorry, it's 12. Well, 24 would work also, you guys. But So we're going to get, uh, so the only one we have to change, we don't have to change this one because it already has 12 in it right here. So we just multiply this one by uh, 6 over 6. That way, 2 times 6 is 12. And then 1 times 6 is 6. So what's bigger, 6 over 12 or 7 over 12? Well, 7 over 12 is bigger. So that means 7 over 12 is greater than 1 half or 1 half is less than 7 over 12. So, so here it's choice B on that one. Okay. All right, you guys. I hope you guys do well on your next upcoming test, and, and don't forget to uh, that your lessons are found at mrmathblog.com. Take care.